few years ago, it, I began to record dreams. I'm a dream recorder. I believe in dreams, right? Because you need when you're sleeping on air mattress, you got nothing else to do. You have to, and you can't afford a therapist. You're like, well, I'm going to start, you know, writing down my dreams. Now I'm down with the Cool Ranch natives. That's what I call them, because all ethnicities are corporately sponsored these days, right? They own half our genetic code anyway. It's like Caucasians, brought to you by Velveeta. And I have a, a spirit guide named Chief Double Down. That's what I call him. Boom. <laughs> he helps me navigating the tax system, you know, in the face of genocide through blackjack strategies. But I love Chief Double Down. And I love the natives because they're very smart in the realms of the gods. And who really runs this joint, right? Being the earth, right? They're locked in like Morpheus. They believe the dream world is more real than this one. And after some dreams I've had, I can't argue with them. You know? And after some days I've had, I still can't argue with them. So I went years ago and I said, I'm going to buy a dream dictionary. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So I went and bought this dream dictionary at Barnes & Noble on the $5 <laughs> discount shelf, right? I evaluated my entire soul and psychic undertow at $5. <laughs> and I took it home. And it was written by this man who had this kind of sort of pseudonymic name. Like he had it, he was a pseudonym, but he was too lazy to really change it. Like by Gustav Schlepper, when his real name was Gustav Schlepper. <laughs> Very German sounding. Because I think he was one of these ex, you know, these ex-Nazi scientists the CIA brought in after World War II to build our space program and make us iPods, you know? And, but he wasn't very good at being evil. He's like, I can't get the evil scientist. He's like, what's the fuck? I write dream dictionary, huh? So I would have a dream. And I, you know, I go, I dreamt I was flying over Manhattan and I was, you know, wearing a hat. You know, and I go, I gotta go find out what this means. And I'd look it up. And that dream dictionary was written from one person, Gustav Schlepper, <laughs> and his dreams. Because, like, they were so specific. You know, it was like if you dream that you, you know, bite into a, a rainbow with metal teeth, you hate your Jewish mother. <laughs> and hail Hitler! <laughs> I mean, I couldn't find anything in there. The best I could find was, you know, if you dream that Hitler is beating you with licorice, it is not a dream. Five dollars indeed. So I decided I was going to join a dream group. <laughs> I'll expose myself to strangers. That's even more um, irrational. Because I wanted to know why Johnny Cash was sitting on a porch laughing while making origami. I was like, I need to know this. And I went. And for a while, it was good. And God was pleased. And projection, Johnny Cash was pleased. <laughs> but then, I started to have this serial dream, or this series of dreams, you know, with the um, with, uh, actress in it, uh, Julia Stiles, you know, relatively successful actress. But look, you know, she's not A-list, <laughs> right? I have a reasonable budget and reasonable expectations in my psyche. She's not Angelina <laughs> Jolie, she's reasonable. <laughs> So they started to get angry. They took arms against my subconscious because they were sick of hearing about her. You know? It's like, I, you know, I'm not a Jedi yet. You know? Come on, Lee. Stop dreaming about her. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Even Yoda has dreams about celebrities. You know, it's like Yoda's dream group with all the mace windows and going, God damn it, Yoda, stop dreaming about Tyra Banks. You know? Like, mm, how help it, I cannot. I had to do a Yoda, you know? I was, like, I was like, maybe I'll try to dream up an apology, you know? Or they just were tired of her and they wanted a new celebrity, you know? And I'm like, I don't care what dimension you're in. Dealing with SAG is a pain in the ass. <laughs> if I tried to not pay my union fees, they would show up in my bed and try to shut me, shut down my subconscious. So I chose Julia as the, you know, projection of my animal. So shut the fuck up and let me play the thing out. 